Remember I made a video, mm, I would say roughly two to three weeks ago, probably longer than that, where I said that Amazon was about to require FCC certification for all radio frequency devices, including Baofeng radios. It looks like Baofeng got a hint. How? I'll tell you, coming up. Greetings, citizens of Radio Land. I am Ria, N2RJ, purveyor of all things radio, especially amateur radio, but you know what? I talk about all kinds of radio here. So let's talk about America's favorite Chinese radio, the Baofeng UV5R. Now, this is a radio that has stirred a lot of controversy among people, especially those who don't really have an amateur radio license. You know, a lot of people buy these radios and they look for walkie-talkie, they look for GMRS radio, and sometimes it's the first search result that, that comes up, and that's kind of odd because they're not really GMS, GMRS radios. Except that now they are. So Baofeng kind of did something that I thought was really good. They're probably going to get a lot of hate mail from the other GMRS manufacturers, but they actually went ahead and they made a version of the famous UV5R that's pre-programmed with GMRS frequencies. And why is this a big deal? Well, you know, a lot of people buy these radios, they program in the GMRS frequencies, and they use them, I guess a lot of off-roaders like them. I mean, there's one guy on his channel who holds his and pets his like it's the best thing since sliced bread and tells people how to program in the GMRS frequencies. I mean, you know, it's common knowledge that a lot of people don't actually just use them as amateur radios. They use them as GMRS radios. Well, Baofeng went ahead and saved people the trouble. The, the other good thing is that you know, you think they might um, actually go ahead and charge you extra for that. No. I've seen these radios for as little as $60 a pair. $60 for two of these radios. And I've seen them as low as $30. Now, I sent a link to one of my friends, and he promptly passed it on to his local Jeep club, and they're out of stock. But, you know, you might see them again. But even at $60 a pair, that's like $30 a radio. So, you know, that's like about ballpark of what you'd pay for a Baofeng. And that's pretty good because there is no incentive to actually get the illegal version. You know, well, the ham radio version that you use illegally on, on GMRS. And to be honest, GMRS is really all you need. But wait, there is more. Pardon the expression, Billy Mays. These radios are FCC certified. Yes, I'm not kidding you. They are actually listed as a type accepted certificated for GMRS, which is a pretty big deal. This means that you can buy these radios and they are 100% legal. They run 100% legal frequencies, 100% legal power, and they have the papers to back it up. They're not undocumented GMRS radios. Wow. I guess health did freeze over. Thank you, global warming. I totally believe in global warming, by the way. Anyway, well, that was a short one. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to see this, and I hope a lot of more manufacturers decide to actually go ahead and, you know, straighten up their act and, and sell these radios legally because it's really not good to encourage illegal operation on the radios. And... Um, one thing I'm glad is that these radios are not going to just end up on ham bands, even though you probably could just get a programming cable and reprogram them. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be looking for a pair myself to actually test out the theory on, and maybe I'll do a video. Well, that's it for now. Have a great one, 73, and keep on having. This is N2RJ. See ya.